Hi guys, from last couple of videos, I am working on a tutorial series of how to create reports in SQL Server reporting services. Okay, in my last video, you saw I created a report with the help of shared and uh, shared data source. Actually, I created a shared data source connection, which you can see here. I created this shared data source connection in my last video, and then I used this connection to create a report. That's report two. Okay, all this time uh, without uh, I was in my first video I was creating a report without using the shared data source connection by doing that I was uh, doing some extra work uh, so to reduce those extra works I created a shared data source connection and then I created this report too okay in this video I will create uh, a report okay using wizard uh, so let's go and do it uh, just click on right click on this reports and then go to new item click on this click on report wizard now write down the name of this wizard which show it as block okay. uh, wizard report okay press enter and then next here, here you can see I have shared data source connection if I don't uh, select this data source okay, let me show this uh, now right now I have, create, I have um, selected shared data source which is pointing to my data source here now let's click next directly it's asking me to select the tables okay if I select this second option and then here uh, and I decided to create a uh, created an embedded one and then I need to uh, do some uh, some extra work or I need to follow some extra uh, steps okay now let us see I need if I select the second option I need to uh, write down the data source name and then I need to select that data source type okay now then I need to create a connection string for that I need to go here and then I need to enter my instance name and then I need to uh, select the database but to avoid all this extra work I have created this shared data source connection and I, that's and I'm using this shared data source connection here so let's go here and create one report so now let's select multiple tables say customer order details orders and products now click on add by doing that uh, four tables are added here I can see now I will display company name unit price quantity order date on which uh, date the order was placed and then product name which product was ordered here you can see the uh, automatically SQL server will create a query and um, as soon as I select multiple tables uh, from here by clicking this table SQL server will uh, automatically uh, find out the connection between these ta these tables you can see all these connections and with the help of these connections it will create this query okay now let us select and after selecting now just click ok you can see our query has been created now then go to next and then click on tabular and here let me show you these options okay if you want this is your report this is the layout which will be showing once you create a create your report and this page if I if uh, I click this product name and I, uh, I click page it will come here in this page section and this page uh, and this product name will display at the top on your report this is called the page this is the page section okay guys each then uh, your record will be display according to with this product name each uh, each page will have one product name and then I, if I don't want and then if I don't want this I can remove it and this is a group okay if I click this product name and I, if I uh, select group then my report will be 
arranged according to this group name if i have here some uh, region or i have a category okay uh, then our records will be arranged based on that category or based on that region okay now let us delete and this is the details if i click this details here it will uh, this is the main content which i uh, which I displayed in my last video. This is the content. This is uh, if I keep on adding these details into my details section, this data will display in your report in details section. Okay, I will uh, I will create a different tutorials on this on each of these categories or options in my upcoming videos. So let, now let us click on next. And click on corporate next finish okay table joints now let's increase the table size okay and Increase the size also. Okay. Now, if I preview, you will see data is displaying. Okay. Now, in this video, you saw how I uh, created a uh, created a data source connection. Actually, this is the shared data source connection, which is pointing to your shared data source connection here. Okay. Then I selected the tables some set of tables and then i join uh, our sql server once i uh, selected the tables sql server automatically joins those tables and give me the appropriate query which is this query it gives me this query uh, after connecting or linking these tables and then i uh, then i created this report okay by now you might be uh, familiar with the creation of wizard report okay. in my next upcoming videos i will uh, go deeper into this wizard reports how to create uh, i will show you how to create block report how to create um, uh, step uh, blocks step reports and how to create drill down reports in my next upcoming videos okay guys I hope you enjoy this video, uh, video tutorial. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.